Dear friends, welcome to the Redemptress Media Center and to our new podcast series, Redemptress Homilies on the Go, a series of reflections on the Word of God, led by Redemptress missionaries. In the season of Lent 2021, the Redemptress Youth and Vocation Ministry, in partnership with the Redemptress Media Center, launched Redeemed, an online mission especially meant for young people. There were catechetical instructions for youth during the masses in the morning and evening mission services to inspire young people with the core of the gospel message of redemption. Each of these inspirational talks invites young people to become conscious, alive and active agents of the mission of Christ in the Catholic Church. What does worship really mean? What can we learn about the centrality of the Eucharist for our lives from a young man named Carlo Acutis? How can he teach us to use our unique talents in every generation to promote the true worship of God and love for our neighbor? Father Joseph Royan helps us learn more in this podcast. Father Joseph Royan, CSSR, is a world-renowned preacher of the Word of God and a popular youth minister. He has completed his licentiate in Moral Theology and is presently a professor of Moral Theology at St. Alphonsus College, Bangalore. He is also the director of Redemptress Publications India and editor of Breaking the Word, a quarterly magazine of Redemptress homilies. This catechetical instruction originally premiered on 13th March 2021. Listen in even as you go about your daily activities and be transformed by the word of life. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds of the Jews, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. The good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Very recently, our Holy Father canonized a wonderful saint, a model for millennials and Gen Z. I want to introduce to our young friends this morning, Carlo Acutis. What is so special about this young man, Carlo Acutis? He lived a very short life, born in the year 1991, and he died in the year 2006, just 15 years. But what an incredible young man. Carlo is just like any of our millennials or Gen Z today. Yes, you heard me right. He loves to stare at the computer screen and I know so many parents are so tired of their children just staring at their computer screens and some of them addicted to uh, video games. Carlo was no different. He was a computer geek. At a very young age, he learned how to do coding. 
He loved Super Mario, PlayStation, and Pokemon, but he loved Jesus more. He had his gaze turned to Jesus. What is so special about this young man, Carlo Acutis, is his incredible love for the Eucharist, his incredible passion for Jesus in, this, in the Eucharist. And that's why I want to present to you, young friends, Carlo Acutis. He's just another ordinary guy, comes from an ordinary family, just like yours and mine. His mother was not a daily mass goer. She never frequented the Eucharist. But when Carlo received the Lord for the very first time when he was just seven years, he fell deeply and madly in love for Jesus in the most blessed sacrament of the Eucharist. And from then on, Carlo never missed the daily mass till the day he died. Carlo was passionate about the Lord in the Eucharist. You want to become more like Jesus? Come to the Eucharist. One of the famous quote of Carlo was this, if you go closer to the sun, you will get sun tanned. But if you come closer to the Lord in the Eucharist, you will become more like him. Wow, what a profound thought from a young man of just 15. He died of leukemia, but when he was diagnosed with leukemia, he said, well, God has gifted me an alarm clock. The clock is ticking. But I want to offer every bit of my suffering and pain for the salvation of souls, for the redemption of our world, and for the intentions of our Mother Church and of our Holy Father. Carlo used his gift of his knowledge of computer for the service of evangelization. He wanted to reach out to many young friends like him, luring them, enticing them to fall in love with Jesus in the Eucharist. And so he designed a website cataloging all the Eucharistic miracles. And it is now translated into multiple languages and you can have access to this wonderful work done by Carlo Acutis cataloging all the Eucharistic miracles, inviting young friends to fall in Jesus, who's truly present in the most blessed sacrament of the Eucharist. One of the signs that happened after his death um, is a nun who was distributing Holy Communion. The host that she was giving suddenly turned red. And after a lot of research, they found out that it was an interior wound of a living human heart tissue. When it went for research in the lab, that blood that was found in the Holy Communion was that of an interior wound of a living human heart tissue. And this is what the nun, she was filled with tears as the communion host began to ooze a red substance. And all this happened just nine days after Carlo died on the 12th of October, 2006. Why am I sharing all this with you, dear young friends, this morning? And to the parents of young friends who are listening to me. I remember during the year of the Holy Eucharist, Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II, addressing young people, this is what he said, fall in love with the Eucharistic Lord. Fall in love with Jesus in the most blessed sacrament. And never grow tired, never grow tired of adoring and celebrating the Lord in the Eucharist. 
And he goes on to say that we are living in a culture of death. Today, young teens are battered in a culture of death and gloom and despair and hopelessness. And this pandemic has made things no better. And we need, in this culture of death, a bread of life. The bread of life, which is Jesus Christ. Our young friends need the bread of life. It is not just the bread of life that transforms the culture of death into life. It is also the bread of hope that inspires young people to keep moving forward no matter what. It is the tremendous gift of Jesus for us, given to us at the Last Supper. This is my body. This is my blood. Take and eat. Take and drink. Once someone asked Mother Teresa, what must we do for young people? How can we reach out to them? How can we minister to young people? And simply, Mother Teresa said, bring them to the Eucharist. Bring them to the Eucharist. Bring young people to the Eucharist and get them to fall in love with the Eucharistic Lord because it is in the Eucharist we experience the real presence of Jesus. What did Jesus say? I am with you until the end of ages. The Eucharist is the very real presence of Jesus. At every Eucharist, we encounter the Lord who's waiting for us, who gives of himself as food and drink, as we heard in today's gospel passage. So Eucharist is not just the real presence of Jesus. It is the food that nourishes us, that he who eats of my flesh and drinks of my blood shall never die. Jesus nourishes us and satisfies the hunger of our soul with his own body and blood. The Eucharist is not just the real presence. It's not just the food that nourishes. It is the sacrificial meal. At every Eucharist, Calvary comes alive. We stand at the foot of the cross at every Eucharist. Christ's bloody sacrifice happens at every Eucharist where he gives of himself as food and drink at every Eucharist. We celebrate the very Paschal mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. It is the mystery that brings life, that brings salvation. Not just life, but eternal life. So dear young friends, never grow tired of adoring and celebrating the Lord in the Eucharist. And I still vividly remember Pope Benedict XVI as I was celebrating Mass with him at the World Youth Day in 2008, as he urged the young friends to come to the very source of love. At every Eucharist is perpetual Pentecost, for the Eucharist is the source and summit of all our worship. At the Eucharist, we experience the very power of the Holy Spirit because it is the Holy Spirit that transforms our offerings of bread and wine into the very body and blood of Jesus. It is the same Eucharist that strengthened the Lord to do great things during his lifetime, will, will, en will enable to do great things in our life if we allow the Holy Spirit to animate and move us in our everyday life. May Carlo Acutis inspire you. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for the finite, as Carlo would say. Go for the infinite, and the infinite is the Eucharist. Go for the infinite, because we will be sharing infinite life with God forever. And the Eucharist is a foretaste, a foreshadowing of that sharing in that infinite life. St. Carlo Acutis, intercede for us. Amen. We do hope you enjoyed this podcast. Catch our other Redemptorist homilies on the go, either on our RMC YouTube channel or from wherever you listen to podcasts. God bless you all mightily.